I'm Pamela Slim, author of Escape from Cubicle Nation and the upcoming Body of Work. I am a business coach and a writer and a speaker. And you can find me at escapefromcubiclenation.com. Welcome, Pam. Thanks for having me. Perfect. Exactly right. so, so we talked about getting better at your craft. Anything else to become a truly standout performer at your corporate job? Yes, get used to getting feedback. And feedback from people sometimes that will tell you that you are really suck at what you do. Yeah. Uh, this has been a, a learning curve for me that's taken a long time. I used to hate it. I was in the field of training and development mm. where everything I did always had an evaluation attached to it, right? And being kind of a perfectionist, I would, you know, I'd get all like five out of fives for 40 people and then two people would give me a three and I would feel all crushed and devastated. Right. So um, it's really, really, really important to learn how to take feedback from and, and to sort through people who are just kind of being like vindictive and who like to just make people squirm yeah. versus people who actually see the potential in who you are and are willing to give you really tough feedback. Okay, can we just put a real world example on this? Because I think that you talk the talk, but I also think you walk the walk. Mm -hmm. And I want to share an example if it's okay. Yeah, yes. You called me, um, I don't know when it was, let's say a couple years ago. Yeah, And November 2011. There we go, okay. And you said, Ramit, I want to have a call with you. I want specific feedback on these areas of my business. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was, you really detailed it out. Mm -hmm. And so we got on the phone and of course, I'm more than happy to help mm -hmm. because not only do I know you, but someone who comes that prepared and is that open, you know, anyone wants to help them. So I talked to you and I gave you some feedback. I, I told you that your prices were too low. Yes that you were way too valuable for what you were charging, and as a result, it was marring your brand. Yes. Um, and I remember a phrase I told you, which was, you should lead the market, not respond to it. Because, like, let's face it, you're not just some beginner level coach. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you have amazing results, your mm -hmm. book is outstanding. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've brought you to I Will Teach stuff, which I usually don't bring anyone, because right. I'm like, nobody's good, but you're outstanding. A okay, so do you recall how you took the feedback? I do recall. I loved it. And, and a big part is because I trusted you and that's why I came specifically to you. Um, I had hoped, which I got uh, from you, to get very specific, clear feedback. The other thing which you told me, which I never forgot, was there are certain things you can have that are products that are priced so low, if you want to make it accessible to the market, make it free. Right. I thought that was great advice. Right. So just make it free. Give away great stuff for free, but then what you charge, charge a premium. So um, it was extremely, extremely useful. Um, I, w I wanted the advice, I took it totally seriously. Mm -hmm. And um, I made specific shifts in how it is that I did programming. The way I am and the way I know myself is I um, get advice, I like to test it in small bits, I like to raise my prices kind of in you know, a couple iterations yeah. in order to really test it with my market and make sure that it makes sense. That's just who I am and I, you know, I kind of know that. But I did, I uh, consolidated a lot of programs <clears throat> and um, I also followed up with you with an yes. email yes. where I gave you very specific feedback um, about the results because I wanted you to know that it made a difference. Yeah. I was like $12,272 off my target, but you know, <laughs> I didn't whine about it. I mean, there were a couple things that happened that, you know, that, that didn't quite meet expectations, but in general, I was really pretty on target. This was one of the favorite emails I've ever gotten. Okay, <laughs> yeah. appreciate that. Um, let's now talk about undervaluing ourselves. This is something that uh, it's chronic among creatives. Uh, I believe it's chronic among coaches in particular it's, I mean, I undervalued myself with my $4.95 ebook. I years remember ago. that you were sweating bullets. Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> you, you know, the sales copy is still online. It's horrible. It's like, hey guys, <laughs> like, I know you could probably get this for free, but. And I'm like, I look at it and I want to vomit. Oh, I, can't, awesome. I can't believe I wrote that. So let's mm -hmm. talk about undervaluing ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about undervaluing ourselves as an employee and then as a self employed person. Yeah. Uh, and I'm curious if you can share any personal insights, uh, and, and also any insights you've got from coaching people as well. Yeah, I have a couple. Uh, that, that has been one of my things, for sure. Yeah. So um, uh, when, I was, uh, when I was making a career transition earlier in my 20s when I was working for companies, um, I remember, I'll never forget this advice that I got from somebody that really helped me to think differently about you know, undervaluing myself. And I had... Um, I had been asking, I was interviewing at different places, and it was a woman who had been on her own for a really long time, 
and I and she said, well, what salary are you asking for? You know, and I said, well, you know, I I, pro I probably need something like fifty thousand dollars, or like, that's probably pretty good, you know, at that time. You know, like, that's like more than enough. I don't right. need any more than that, right? Um, and so she told me, she said, you know, when it comes to compensation, especially if you're a female, so this may resonate um, for more for females rather than males, but I think also males can have this. You must charge what the market will bear, especially in relation to your male peers. Mm. Um, and the key is, though, is then if you choose, you can give it all away. Oh, how interesting. And, and th this was, it was very interesting for me because, you know, and she wasn't saying it in that you don't deserve to have a good life, you know, right. that what I was saying is, you know, I'm not like a fancy person. Right. My son, I don't my need son all Josh, that stuff. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, you know, I like, it's nice to stay at a nice place to go on a nice, you know, vacation. Right. But like, I'm a woman of the people. Like, I, I don't like to be, I, right. it would be a nightmare for me to only be like rubbing elbows with like fancy rich people. This all is the so time. interesting. It'd be awful. Right. This is a total invisible script. Yeah. Which is to say, if I get paid, let's just make up a number here, 70000 yeah. which is a lot of money. Yeah. Um, then, then I'm going to have to buy a Mercedes Ugh. and I'm going to have to give up all my poor friends. Right, right. And I can only go and eat like with a white napkin. It's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. But, it, but it's one invisible script that we use so that we don't have to step up to the plate yeah. and ask for what we truly deserve. Exactly. Yeah.